We've known for some time that the Russians meddled in the U.S. presidential election, but today we got a chilling account of one of the tactics used. The ranking Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee said that Russia paid more than a thousand hackers to create fake anti-Clinton news. The top Republican and Democrat on the Senate panel spoke at a news conference today, and their unity was in sharp contrast to the feuding in the parallel investigation in the House. Here's Jeff Begay's. We will always say to you, this investigation scope will go wherever the intelligence leads it. Republican Chairman Richard Burr said the Senate committee is reviewing thousands of documents. Both Senator Burr and the top Democrat on the committee, Mark Warner, made a public show of unity. An outside foreign adversary effectively sought to hijack our most critical democratic process, the election of a president. And in that process, decided to favor one candidate over another. The senators stood in stark contrast to their counterparts in the House. The investigation there has been stalled by partisan bickering. The ranking Democrat Adam Schiff has called on Republican uh, Chairman Devin question. Nunes to step like aside, to accusing him of trying to shield the White House and distract from the investigation. We will not take questions on the House Intelligence Committee. The Senate committee will examine whether the Trump campaign coordinated with the Russians who carried out a wave of cyber attacks during the election. It will also investigate whether thousands of Internet trolls hired by the Russians manipulated the news cycle in swing states, spreading what Senator Warner called fake news about Hillary Clinton. Well, we are in a whole new realm around cyber. Senator Burr said the investigation will be fair and impartial. Senator Burr, Chairman, have you, have you personally coordinated with the White House at all? No, sir, I have not. And um, it's the relationship and the trust we have. Scott, both senators say that part of the urgency in getting to the bottom of what happened here are concerns that U.S. allies in Europe could be facing similar Russian meddling in their elections. Jeff Pegues in Washington.